Right, let's have a uh, look at this then. I got this from the uh, Bottom Toy Fair for £35. And as you can see, just needs a bit of chrome in there. It's in really good condition actually, it just needs a bit of touching up. Uh, just a bit of chroming. So I'm going to give it a good clean. So um, the, the, the missile is original. Got the rubber tip, which is pretty cool. Uh, the last one I did, um, I had to 3D print the missile. So we're going to take the screws out. There's uh, four screws. Good thing about Dinky over Corgi is Dinky used screws. So I think that is why that is why Dinky was more popular to uh, paint. Your cars. Very, it used to be a big thing that if you didn't like the colour of your uh, your dinky car, you could easily take it apart, give it a nice colour, and th that really didn't happen with um, with Corgi, simply because the the Corgi ones. Let's have a look at this. The Corgi, everything Corgi, just um, trying to get it out there so I don't break it. Um, everything Corgi, um, there was um, studs in them, and you couldn't, you could not get into them. It's hard enough now with the Dremels and. The, the drills and things like that. So, I mean, look at this. It's not, it's, it's not been opened up. It says interceptor on the, on the inside there. Look at that. That's just mint in there. That's very clean, actually. <laughs> it, it means it's been sealed all this time. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a bit of a clean. This is filthy. Um, stickers are already there. So we're not, we're not going to be able to recoat it all. I'm just going to touch up the little bits. Should be some bits around there as well. Just going to touch that up. So we'll get that clean. Um, I so we're going to get some chrome on there. The pilot is beautiful. He's stuck in there. He's not coming out of there. That's really good. And the canopy's absolutely clear as well. So, bit of work to do. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take this apart. There's no need for me to take that apart. That is brilliant. That is just spot on. Because there's there's all the springs and everything like that. It's not hard to get back together, but it's just uh, it's just unnecessary. I think we just need to clean it. You see the grime inside there, and in, you can tell the colour inside. This has never been opened. Compared to the outside, it's still in really good condition. It's just we we'll just need to give it a really good, good wash, and try not get too much water around the. It's not like it's 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 only springs. You can always lubricate it afterwards, and yeah, I just don't know if I'm gonna. I don't think I'll give it a lubricate, a lubricate, a lubricate. Um, so that is in tip top condition. Like I say. Just going to pop those in some warm water. I'm not going to pop that in warm water because it's because of the stickers, obviously. Um, give it, get a brush, give it a brush, and then we'll. Uh, I've got the metallic paint just to top it up. That's what I used on the last one. I hope it's still all right. <laughs> it should be, should be. So um, let's get this cleaned. Right, so I'll give them a good clean, but I think I'm um, just going to use, I think I'll get a harder brush. I've got a, I've got a Q-tip, we're just, we're just going to finish it off, just getting in there. And so we don't want to get these stickers wet, so we'll give that a that's fine, I think. 
just seem to notice in, in there look at that in there yeah missed that look at that wow so glad we did that so get that cleaned that's all nice just in the there's a bit of nice touching up there this um I tried to be more careful with this obviously because uh, of the work is it's not gonna it's not gonna damage it um also the skis as well just be careful of the skis as well because uh they're easily damaged especially the front one um you can get you can get replacement parts of these but you want to keep it as original as you can this is all original obviously i mean you can tell this is the first time it's been open since it got built i think so yeah just want to give it a nice little clean and all the little nooks and crannies make sure we've not missed anything there we go that's fine that's fine i mean you can you can always get get that front bit out get all you can unscrew this you can get it all out and give it a good really good clean but i don't think it needs it looking at it um the gold i'm not gonna try touch that up i don't think that's not that's not an issue really not an issue what we need to do now let that dry look at that anyway let that dry we'll get this chrome pen um it's chrome marker and these are paint but it leaves a layer of chrome so basically you're just gonna touch it up make it look good as new obviously leave it to uh to take or else you don't want to be uh, getting chrome on your fingers there we go once you've i had i did have a chrome pen before and it, i thought it was good until i got these these are amazing that one before was like it was a chrome pen but this is chrome paint it leaves a layer of chrome and it can be very addictive because you want to chrome everything once you start with these <laughs> so i'm quite lucky that this it does need quite a bit like i say just just leave it to to dry because uh, you're going to be putting this in you don't want to take any of the chrome off that's that's still wet and i mean you can put as many coats on as you want but once that sets you will not tell the difference because because it's literal literal chrome i put some on there it doesn't really matter but it just shows you how good it actually is so when that dries it looks i mean now it looks it looks different but once it's dry it'll look exactly the same i should have waited on that bit actually, but never mind um i think there's a bit in the cockpit there that i need to uh to touch up just be careful of the the pilot I think that's fine. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go all right around it. Cause you're not gonna see that bit. The, the, the pilot is painted really well, and it's still still sat there. They do. They do come low saws. So we're just gonna touch the front bit up. That's the main bit they really wanted to touch up because that's the bit you can see 
Well, you can see the back, the bits at the back, but uh, it's the front you're looking at mostly. Try and get it even though. I'm not doing a, a brilliant job, but like I say, when it does dry, it does sell. So, that's, that's it, that'll do. We'll leave that for there. Um, I think that's it for the chroming. I know, I could, I could chrome that, I could chrome it. But I'm going to leave it like that because that is pure metal. So I'm not going to chrome that. I don't want it to look chrome, if you know what I mean. Um, that's not too bad either. I don't, need, I don't need to get my gold chrome pen out at all for that, which is good. So that's it for the chroming, unfortunately. <laughs> I like I like doing the chrome. I do have some gold chrome pens as well, um, but um, I don't need them. Don't need them. I say. Um, the gold there, you've got a bit bit missing there, but it doesn't really matter that, it's not, it's not an issue, so just uh, make sure that this dries properly, give that front ski a bit of a, bit of a scrub, I was going to, I was going to get a toothbrush to it, but, uh, it's not needed. It's just 40, 50 years grime. It is 50 years old, isn't it? This older than me. 50, yeah, 50. 54 year old? Was it 69 or 70 that UFO came out? I'm telling you the bottom, all right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. So you can see there, this, this, the ski there is, is slightly bent. I mean, we could, we could heat that up and bend it back, but I don't think it's worth it. Don't really want to push it too much because I don't want to snap it, obviously. But yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So that's ready. Again, look at, look at the, the grime coming off that. The good thing is I can I can still clean it once it's uh, once it's back together right now. So what we need to do now is um, I don't have unfortunately I don't have anything I can put this uh, paint on. But I think what I'll do is get a tissue. Put some on a tissue. I know it's gonna it's gonna soak in, but uh, we don't need that much, to be honest with you. I could just uh, I could just uh, put some on the on the brush. There we go. That's clear. That's clear. I need to shake it up a bit more. I think. I don't want to get any on the <laughs> canopy. Yeah, so that is, uh, that's clear. So we need to, that's how long it's been since I've used it. There we go, there we go, we're fine now. We don't want it too wet. I think it's the oil in the uh, paint. There we go. So basically, we've got that bit there. Um, might be a bit too much. We've got that bit there. Just touch it up, just put a blob on. Get it into the uh, into the damaged bit. Just 
just give it a bit of a brush so it uh, probably need a couple of coats more and more I look at it more and more it's got, it needs uh, a bit more of a touch up but yeah don't worry it's not like chrome I'm not uh, I'm not addicted to uh, to using this there's a bit there so yeah just need to touch that up a bit of white but just it's just going to take a few a few layers so we don't, well, the paint is a different colour, it's slightly different. So what we're doing is we're just layering it and, and repairing the damage of the of the holes that are there. So the thing is, really what we should do is strip it, repaint it. But since we've got the original stickers on, I don't want, I really don't want to do that. I did that to the last one. And I put uh, put reproduction stickers on. Tiny little bit. Really, what I should do is um, wait for that to dry. As you can see the oil on it. But for our purposes today, I'm just going to go ahead and keep dabbing. Just to, just to repair it. And also you don't want it, you don't want lumps. There we go. Gives it a bit of a, gl a glitter shine as well, which is good. It's like a metallic shine on it on the paint that's what we want again oh, look at that I've missed that bit of the back didn't we when cleaning it but never mind easily done there we go just let that let that dry for a bit so you can see you can see already Just want to give it a, a dab. There we go. You're just repairing it, really. Repairing the uh, the dents and the scratches. Again, I really need to. I could really do with waiting to that to dry. Before I put any more on. To be honest with you, it didn't look that bad. It just, I don't really need to put much on. It didn't look bad at all. But for the purposes of the video, I am going to just. Just do that. Let that dry now. And I can put it all back together then. Give that a... Give that a brush. <laughs> Bit of a wash. I'm glad I didn't have to get all this out, to be honest with you. Um, I don't think I needed to do it on the last one, but I was curious. And I really wanted to um, lubricate it and make... It, it was working. The, the, these always work. It's funny. It's really funny. Because you've got your trigger there and you pull that back. 
It's just a simple mechanism. And there's your, there's, there's your, well, you pull back and there's your trigger. Obviously, your, uh, your bullet goes in there and it shoots off. But we don't want to do that because that is a very expensive point. To find one well, in this good condition with the original bullet, original missile, is outstanding. Now, the thing is, to get these things back in, that should have dried by now. No, it's still, still a bit tacky, but uh, yeah, still a bit tacky. I've just put my thumb on that bit. <laughs> That wasn't gonna put on, put it on, but uh, yeah, still a bit tacky. So we'll leave that for a bit. Right, so it's, it's time to get it back together. Uh, this is gonna be a good. This is gonna be a good job. It's still a bit tacky. It's, you, I need to go over it again. I think I'll go over it when I uh, when I put it in. But you can see that that goes over there. Like that, we've got, but we've got the canopy, and I've got to get that on there. We've getting <laughs> so right. Let's give this a go. It's easier to, to take it out than it is to put it in. That's what she said. Um, there we go. Trying to get those. Well, it's, I, I am still, I am, I am aware that it is still tacky, but we can go over it again. It is. <laughs> we've got, we've got to get that. See, see those little two notches there. I want to get that that way. So the less damaged side is at the top. It's a bit, yeah. It's not, not the best. But we need to try and get. One, they've got one in one side. We need to get the other in the other side. There we go. And that. Um, that way or that way? Ooh, I don't know. I think that way. Um, I'm not sure the canopy is fits it as well. Come on, canopy. We're all we're nearly there apart from you. There we go. Come on. Oh dear me. I say it is not easy to get it back in. But we're going to do it. There we go. So we get that. On there. Like so. Push it down. I think we're all right. We can see the uh, screw holes in there. So we need to get those screws in. ASAP. Down. 
<coughs> right, the back, the back's in. I've got to get the front bits in. So there we go, all screwed in, cleaner, I, I could have done a better job with the paintwork, some people have just, I've just been rushing it, um, I can, I can, I can do a bit more, get a bit more layers on there and uh, make that better, but there we go, there we go. Get the missile in. I'll give the missile a bit of a clean as well. I need to just pull that back. There we go. Still working. Missile's in. Not going to fire. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, yeah, it's not perfect, but you, you can see this. It's better. Uh, a few more layers will will make it. A lot better again they uh we do need a few more layers on there but you can see that it's made a difference so there we go beautiful ufo interceptor not really good as new because it wasn't too bad i just wanted to do this video just to see how easy it is to do to clean and touch up a dinky UFO interceptor shadow. I would like to do another video where I can make one white because they were white in the show. Why dinkies use green paint again? Um, they made the Thunderbird 2 blue because they said green was, was would not sell, so they made this green instead of white. I don't know, anyway. So they are quite expensive, so I'd have to get a complete beater to try and do that. But you know, we might we might look into that. The only thing with the, if I get a shell, is these skis. As I was saying about the screws, these are have got studs, so you would have to drill that out. So that's why I don't like replacing these. You've got to drill those out, get some new studs, get some new skis, and yeah, that's that is a pain in the the bum. The good thing about Dinky is the screws, as I said. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Something a bit different. And I'll see you next time. May the toys be with you. Go on, man. Let's fire it. Oops, it's gone. Bye. What is the charge? Eating a meal? A succulent Chinese meal?